is from Nancy. Mm -hmm. She says, I always get sad around the holidays and everyone around me is having a great time. Are there any tips for beating the blues around the holidays? Yes. If you are sad every year around the holidays, particularly if your sleep has changed, either you're not sleeping as much or you're uh, sleeping too much, if your appetite has changed, again, not having an appetite or eating way more, um, and you don't take pleasure in anything and you feel sad, and it happens every year at this time of year, you may have what's called seasonal affective disorder. It is actually fairly common, and it has to do with um, loss of sunlight, shorter days, and, um, and your biochemistry. The treatment for that is either an antidepressant, um, psychotherapy, and or light therapy. Um, I would really look into light therapy if this is the case. It should be prescribed by a doctor. You don't want to just go get a light box, and it's not any old light box. It's a particular band of UVB light that these boxes emit, so it can't just be any light. Um, and you, you really do it for like a half an hour every morning, and it can make all the difference in the world. Now, if really what you're saying is that when, the, when everybody is like, you know, ho, 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 and with their family, and maybe you don't have someone, um, or you feel like you should be in a different place in your life where you don't get along with your family, and that is what is making you feel blue about the holiday, then that's a different story. And then you really have to take a look at, are you doing things to, um, you know, partake in a way that's consistent with reasonable expectations. So at this time of year, a lot of people have unreasonable expectations, right? They feel like they should be like nor in a Norman Rockwell painting and everybody <laughs> should be super happy and joyful. And you know what? All those people who look happy, they all have their own Michigas. I'm telling you, they all have their own stuff. So what you see isn't necessarily what's going on and having reasonable expectations. So planning a few things that you would enjoy, whether that's with a friend. Um, I really advise people to get involved in giving because giving truly in improves your mood. That's great. So whether that's you know going to a local soup kitchen and serving yeah, people that's who great. have less than you, um, doing something like that can really make a difference in, in how you feel at yeah, this time of year. That's great. And spending time with people that you do care about. So whether that's friends, making a, a, a party for other people who are single at this time right. of year and you all get together for the holidays, um, and setting limits with family if family is stressing you out. People often feel like, oh, I have to have my family there for the whole week, and we all have to be together and stare at each other 24-7. <laughs> and then it's really miserable. Yeah, yeah. So provide breaks. You, somebody goes to a movie. Somebody plays a game. Right. You go out for a run. Um, not having Break these it up. unreasonable yeah. expectations.